Hello there. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to win a tournament. It's going to be amazing. And the three steps that you need to do so. Right before we get into the video, here's a picture of a fluffy cow. It's hungry. And if you hit the like button, you can help feed a fluff cow. Not really, but it'll help me out. But anyway, right before we get into the video, I want to say if you are subscribed, remember to turn the notification bell on. really help me out. And if you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing to the channel. And leaving a like on the video would really be appreciated. Now, let's get right into the video. So, I feel like warming up is probably one of the most important things you can do. First of all, it really does help your mechanics. Not just in fact of just getting better at the game, but it just warms them up. And make sure this isn't the only thing you do, uh, because you should be doing other things. You should be going in games, and uh, mostly arena and solo squads, I feel like I'm still practicing. But do it, like, go in creative, right? Go in your free building map. I have this thing, as you can see. And just kind of, like, starting off, and then just kind of free building for about five to ten minutes or so i have a timer on it that has it stops at five minutes i do a couple of those and then i know it's ten minutes so i don't go overboard so you don't have to do free building for very long just so your mechanics are warmed up a bit then i would do spill for about five to ten minutes and then go into aim duels i love aim duels here's a code on screen i have a video right up here showing the aim duels um that way that i've been doing and an actual way to improve your aim. So right up there, there's the video. Also, the fr the first thing you kind of need to do after warming up is kind of planning out your tournament. And when I mean like planning out your tournament, I mean you should be planning your tournament out. And what that means is that you should be getting you should going into the last tournament to see what your we you want the goal to be. You know, let's say in the top 100 range, guarantee you spot top 100, and it's 96 points, right? You go and take 96 divided by 7. The reason you do 7 is because that's how many games you have to play. And that's how many uh, games you should be playing out. Because let me tell you something for all the people that are like, how many times have you ever been in a tournament where you get to play all 10 games out completely perfectly? I doubt it. You probably only played around 5 or 6. And 7's pushing it in terms of actually you know, doing well. Because that's pretty much the mi maximum... That's probably the minimum games you need to really do well in a tournament. If you look at any pro player, they are nice and comfortable in their 8th and ninth game. Like, if their game, 10th game goes south, they still qualify. You know, they're not barely making it. So, the reason why you have three games is those are kind of your throwaway games. Those are your W key games. Um, you should be kind of planning out in terms of time to play around three games per hour. If you find yourself, you know dying too often or just losing um your cool take like a just take a few minute break take like 10 minute break it really does help i did a 10 minute break and i came back and won the next game and got like 30 points in just one game so you know it does help i would i would say taking a break definitely does help your guy get tournament out you need to have a good landing spot by the way there's a video right up there uh, showcasing the best landing spots in Fortnite. So I would definitely suggest taking that video out. So if you want to see that, you can go right ahead after the video. I'm, I'm now unless you hate Pervin, then it's fine. You don't have to see the video, but I'm joking. And plane placement in scrims. Honestly, I would say like in scrims, the way to actually play scrims is kind of scuffed. You want to try to play scuffed. And the reason why is because most tournaments, you're not going to have full gold weapons every game. I don't think that's possible. And, you you know, it's just not going to happen. It's not realistic. You know, when you land on someone or you land like you're right next to each other and you're rotating with seven people around you, that, that that's probably the most unrealistic practice you can get because you're not thinking. that when you go into a real game and you're wondering why you're not improving, well, that's a good reason. Third, you, you need to have a good plan to get kills. Um, honestly, I think get, having a plan is probably one of your most important things. Uh, to get kills on because you, the, in this type of format, especially the champion cash cups and a lot of these tournaments now, they are heavily placement based, right? Getting into the top five and six are very important because there's 20 eliminations for first place, right? In this format, it's 20 eliminations. And that's a lot. If you pull out two of those suckers, you are already halfway two games and you're only played two games. So that's why you should be playing placement as much as possible. Actually, I suggest 
you know, w or not W keying too much. It, next, how to practice. And my best way of seeing things is how to practice for one of these. Well, what you should definitely start doing is going around an arena and just W keying every single person, no matter how dumb the fight is. The reason why you should do this is just because you're going to gain more get a fighting experience. You're going to get that muscle memory going and um, you'll just become natural at some point where you don't really have to think about it too much. You don't have to struggle. And just start pickaxing walls. Wherever the person is, pickaxe and pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Just keep pickaxing. Do not go a game without pickaxing at least five walls. If you lose, go the next game. Don't get too upset over it. Practice you should be doing in creative is for mechanics not for not that should not be your main practice right you should be practicing in game 70 percent of the time while 30 percent should be creative you know i'm going to be coming out with a, a video very shortly explaining how to better equip yourself uh, in creative and like how to practice creative more efficiently i'll be coming out with a video very soon so if you want to see that video consider subscribing to the channel it would be really appreciated and if you want, like this video. It would really, really help me out a lot. And also help other people rec get this video recommended. So if you want to hit the like button, if you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, it would be appreciated too. If you're saying, wait, you mean to tell me I can write this script faster than you get the like button? I suppose that's your problem, not mine. I'm joking. But again, with all that aside, hope you have a great rest of your day. Great time on, hope you have a great time on the channel. God bless your day. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.